hi, it's me. I'm going to show you, uh, walk you through how to do things for uh, exercise, uh, the, the current lab exercise, um, question number four. Um, we are going to be, you want to start with an Excel, a brand new, clean, empty Excel workbook in front of you, and a um, earthquake.usgs.gov. Uh, slash earthquakes in front of you as well. Go over to your Excel workbeat book and title it as follows. We want magnitude. Um, I'll explain these in a moment. Number per year and number. We are going to go to the earthquake catalog and search it in a moment and assign different numbers of earthquakes to different magnitude ranges. I'll show you right now. So earthquake, usgs.gov, earthquakes. We want to go down here to search earthquake archives. And we're going to look for earthquakes centered in the Seattle area. And it turns out that um, we really only see them going back to about 1975. So there's no point in searching earlier than that. Uh, first thing we'll do is the start date and time. Double click that. Let's type in, it's, it's a funky format, just bear with me, 1975 01-01. That says January 1, 1975. This says uh, October 15th, 2014, this particular moment. Let's start by looking for smallish earthquakes, Mag minimum of 2 magnitude up to 2.99. We can, a lot of search parameters here, we can search in a rectangle. We are going to choose to search in a circle. Um, I've looked up the latitude and longitude of someplace in Seattle near the center of Seattle. Those figures, those numbers are 47.6 north latitude and 122.3 west latitude which is represented here with a negative number. Um, inside radius is if you want to exclude something from your search like you know the hole in a donut kind of search. Um, we're not going to do that so keep that as zero. Let's go out as far away from Seattle as 500 kilometers. In other words about 300 miles. Hit search, it thinks, and pretty soon we see key number you want is 1865 earthquakes in the mapped area. Let's take a quick look at the map area, zoom in on it, hit the zoom tool, grab, drag across the Pacific Northwest, and you can see uh, all these little tiny earthquakes. A lot of them are quarry blasts. I guess uh, quarry blast puts out enough energy to register at least a 2.0, sometimes a little bit higher, um, on the Richter magnitude scale. Uh, we will stop seeing those momentarily when we no go up to the next size range. So 1865 earthquakes. We have We'll enter that in. Uh, let's, let's enter the, uh, remember we looked in the range between 2.0 to 2.99 magnitude. Let's pick a figure right in the middle, call it 2.5, and skip that for a moment, and type in 1865, which was the number we just saw over here. Um, what we want to do now is take this number and divide it by the number of years of the record that we just looked up. So that's really easy in Excel. You, uh, you highlight the cell where you want the calculation to go. You type in equal sign. You click once on this cell and then the divide sign and divided by 39.9 years, which is the amount of time in decimal, number of years with a decimal point since uh, January 1, 1975. So that gives us a uh, 
an average number or a calculated number of earthquakes per year for that interval from 1975 to the present in the range of 2 to 2.99. Let's take down the number of decimal places and let's go ahead and set things up with our other middle values go up to 5.5, 6.5, 7.5 and uh, call it good there. Let's go through. Uh, we've just calculated this the quick way to carry this formula down to the other cells is to um, select it, grab the little handle and drag and that copies that same formula into all the cells below. I'll uh, run through this for um, show you where this is going to go. I'm not going to do all of it for you. Let's go uh, up to the next size range. Let's go. So keep everything the same. Go to three to three point nine nine range and hit search. You're expecting to see fewer, and you do. 1108, you scroll down this and you can convince yourself that there are no more quarry blasts. So I guess quarry blasts don't put enough energy into the ground. If you like, go over and zoom in to see a bit more detail. Something interesting going on here. Um, but the key number is for that range between 3, 3.99, 1108 earthquakes. Okay. And uh, as soon as I hit enter, it'll auto automatically calculate the number per year, and that'll show up in that middle column. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do the second to last range and show you what that looks like. So back button, go up to 6, 6.99. Everything stays the same. Hit search. And... We've only got uh, six earthquakes in that size range over the past almost 40 years. So go down here, enter six, it'll calculate. It's going to be a number less than zero because six divided by almost 40 is less than zero. So on average, there are far fewer of these. But it makes sense to talk about it, it, in a way, it doesn't make sense to talk about 0.2 earthquakes per year because you either got one or you don't. But, you know, this is what falls out of the math, and this is what we'll end up <coughs> plotting later on. So in terms of the plot, we're going to do this similar to what you did uh, for volcanoes. Grab the data you actually want to plot. Go over here to Charts. Your Excel might look different from mine and we want a I can never find these things but yeah marked scatter chart for me it showed up let's make it big enough so we can see what's going on a little bit better um, the first thing you're going to want to do remember Richter magnitude is already kind of a logarithmic scale so you don't have to change things here but let's change the scale for the vertical axis to logarithmic and logarithmic, so top scale logarithmic and uh, yeah it's not going to be happy with that because there are negative numbers. Same thing as before I want to see things properly labeled um, you can do that but take that pesky line out because that's totally bogus. You can just click on it and hit delete. Um, yeah, I'm not liking this too well. I don't know why. I think I did something wrong. Let's see. Uh, should have magnitude along the x-axis. Uh, average number per year. Oh, what's what's not looking right is the, mis the other data points. Um, we haven't filled these in yet. As soon as you fill these in, you'll get more points plotted up. But again, label things properly, put the x-axis down at the bottom, and um, that's what you're going to need 
to once you get that all filled out for yourself and your numbers will vary because there are more earthquakes every day um, go ahead and finish up that and you know follow the rules for titling axes give an overall title to the chart and uh, make it look pretty for me and turn it in um, once you've got it nice click outside the actual chart area the data area click and then right click copy and put it into your word document so that's what I'm uh, wanting for this question three um, you can pretty much have done it in the time it took me to take to talk about it